Hey there, flippers, and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So, in today's video, we are going to be heading back out to the charity shops in Maidstone. And we are going to start off in one of my new favourite shops. <laughs> and that is Demelza. So, I, the reason that I like Demelza now is because of what they've done with their pricing. And it is just literally a flat pricing model dependent on what you are looking at so like at the moment i found this foster's jacket it's a bit grotty um, i will say it does go in the washing machine when i get home and it comes up pristine so that's good but all of the jackets on this rail are priced up at three pounds regardless of what they are so i could walk in there and find an an Armani jacket made of gold. I don't think it would ever get to this rail, but I could, and it would still be priced at three pounds. Uh, all the media now, uh, music CDs, mu uh, music, DVDs, Blu-rays. Uh, I don't think, I very rarely see games in here, So, um, but they're all 10p. So I'm gonna go through them quickly. I'm gonna try, something a bit different with the dvds and that this week um obviously my computer's been playing up so it's not letting me edit with um high speeds so i've been watching a couple of videos and wanted to try this new editing style not too sure whether it's jarring or not so let me know in the comments down below and now we are in Sue Rider. So I carried on looking through the other bits, the other areas in the Melza. Didn't really find anything. So yeah, we've moved straight on to Sue Rider. I've had a quick look over the DVDs, the box sets and all of that. But I don't tend to pick them up in here because they are normally so high priced. Uh, all of their DVDs are a pound each. And box sets are probably two pounds. So looking through the jeans, I do find my first pair of Armani jeans. And it's quite funny because my sister-in-law was asking me, I think it was the weekend before this, uh, whether I get any designer jeans or anything like that. And my response was, well, sometimes I get uh, Levi's. So like this, this is a pair of Levi's, I think they're Lion S they were called. But when I looked them up, they're essentially a, a budget version of Levi's. So they end up getting left. But the Armani jeans, I do end up picking them up. Um, and I do have a quick look on eBay before I actually pay for them. And yeah, definitely worth a pick up. We'll go through those at the end of the video so just having a look and as I, I walk into the men's section I see a denim jacket and I'll always check out denim jackets because if you can get a Levi's one they are normally worth quite a lot of money so they're always worth picking up if they're in good condition so I find a pair of men's Levi's but once again, they are priced up. £15 is seeming to be more and more of the average selling price for Levi's now. Um, I really won't pick them up at that price because they tend to go from anywhere between £20 to £30. And... Yeah, I think uh, uh, if I pick them up at 15, say for example, if I pick them up at 15, list them at 30, then end up having to discount them to ship them. So say for example, we then knock them down to 25. We're looking at four pounds to ship them. Plus then the fees on top. Yeah, it's a very little profit. So next up, we are in the RSPCA. And as you can see, I've already been through the other side and gone through all the DVDs. But as I walk in, I see these pair of football boots literally shining their way to me. And as I turn them over, they are in an 
absolutely impeccable condition. So uh, I grabbed them. Uh, there's no price on them at this point, so I have got no clue what, how much they are. I'm thinking potentially five, ten pounds. No, nowhere near that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I do ask here. Yeah, Yo, mate, can I just leave them there for a minute? Yeah. There's no price on them. Do you know what they'll be? Three. Three. Perfect. So yeah. Three pounds, absolutely amazing. So they are definitely coming home with me. And I'm gonna have a, a quick look through the women's jeans, and then quickly move down and have a look through the men's ones. Nothing in the women's jeans, and we'll have a, a quick step down to the men's, and we'll have a look, see if there's anything there. I do find in the RSPCA, or especially this one, uh, the men's jeans section, or men's trouser section in general, is normally quite barren, but it is what it is. And I've only got a couple of pairs left, I think. I might have to trim the audio out from this bit. I think there's a stereo just behind me at this point. So I'll have to trim the audio out. And then, been through a, a load of the other shops. Nothing found, didn't find anything in them. But I wanted to include this part of the DVDs because I end up getting a absolutely cracking pull. And this is something that I have been searching for for a, quite a few weeks now. And I don't know if you can see it there, it's a Little Britain DVD, but it is actually Little Britain Season 3. So this is one of the hardest Little Britain CDs to act, the hardest Little Britain DVDs to actually find out in the charity shops. I think this is only the second one that I've ever found out and about and obviously it was one that I needed to finish off a set uh, what I actually what I've actually done is I end up picking up another Little Britain related DVD in the next charity shop video and so I do I actually go to a couple of small charity shops near where I live and managed to find another Little Britain DVD in them and I end up putting that into a big bundle. So I think it's a six or seven um, disc bundle that I'm doing. So yeah, that's good, absolutely cracking to find that. I'm really glad that I can finally put that set together. And then before we head out of uh, making a difference in Maidstone, um, we're just going to have a look across the back here. I don't normally look across here. Uh, this is where all the electronics are. And as I'm going through, just having a, a quick scout of what's there. I did notice that they've got a couple of electric guitar amps down the bottom there. Yeah, just straightening the camera up. Didn't realise it was tilted over. But yeah, at the bottom there, there's a couple of electric guitar amps, but they're priced up about £65. Don't know enough about them to pick them up for that price. Then we've got some of the smaller electrical items here. Um, the only thing that really catches my eye is the printer, but they're worth absolutely nothing. But what I did notice today, and this is the first time that they've done this, they've actually opened up the back section here. Now this used to be part of their storage room, their storeroom. So just having a look, they've got all of the books out here now, um, all of the vinyl records. So I think what I might do um, is sometime within the next few weeks, I might actually come in and just spend some time having a look through the vinyl, doing some scanning. I'm seeing if I can find anything that's worthwhile because I know next to nothing about vinyl and 
I get on pretty well with the staff in here, so I should be okay to have a, a scanning session in there. And then we're in the final charity shop for today. We are in uh, Peggy Woods. Um, so this is the one where I normally finish off, but there's actually now a Hospice of Hope inside the local shopping centre. So I normally park up in there and um, head into there on the way home. But yeah, I notice a load of jeans at the bottom here. And the first pair I find are a pair of Super Dry. And it just carries on getting better. Because I pick up the Super Dry. Then another Super Dry. <laughs> so I'll always pick them up. Then I've got another uh, a pair of Hugo Boss. I think there's a, a couple of pairs of Hugo Boss here. And then there's also another pair of Armani. But I will say, stick stick with me to the end of the video. Because I have some bad news about these. Um, and yeah, it was very much a learning curve. Um, definitely a Definitely something I needed to learn. And I got taught it in the worst way possible. So stick around. Um, I will go through it in the end. But what we'll do now is we will head home. We'll go through all of the pickups. And then you can find out what happened with these jeans. Okay, so we are back from the charity shops. And, uh, well... I think you can tell from the thumbnail, it is not going to be the best of the pickups, but we are still, oh, there you go, my tablet's going off, let me just mute that. Uh, so yeah, it's not going to be as great as I was first anticipating, but let's get into the pickups, because there's still a lot of very good stuff to go through. And we're going to start off over the other side, and we've got all of our collection DVDs. Now, I went out today, and the one thing I said to myself was that I was going to ease up on the collection DVDs um, because I am starting to drown in them. <laughs> I've got so many part-finished collections that, yeah, I... Went out and I was like, no, I'm not going to focus on the collection DVDs, sort of everything else, and see how we get on. As you can see, I failed miserably at that. Um, the big problem is, is when I first went into the Melza, I was having a look around, then got up the back and realised that they've actually changed their pricing structure in there. So before Christmas, it was five DVDs or CDs for a pound. Now they've changed that to 10 DVDs or 10p each for media. So that's across CDs and DVDs. And yeah, just got a bit too happy. And then we also then went into RSPCA and got an absolute truckload of DVDs in there. So just running through them quickly. Um, in total, on the collection DVDs, we spent £10 and a penny. Uh, some ones to, uh, to shout out are, we've got a couple of new DVDs, we've got a copy of Captain America Civil War and also Mockingjay Part 2, The Hunger Games, but the big one and the one that I'm most happy about, I need to zoom in, not out, is that one. We have got Little Britain, the complete third series. This is one that has been an absolute nightmare to get hold of. This is only ever the act this is only actually the second one that I've ever seen in charity shops. It is so hard to find at the charity shops, and I don't know why. Uh, must be that by the third season, people were fed up with Little Britain. <laughs> but yeah, but I have managed to get that now, so I will be able to put a complete collection together. Um, I have also got another Little Britain DVD um, that will be in the next charity shop video. Um, so I'm going to put that in with this collection as well. And all in all, I should be able to get about £30 for the whole collection. I'm not going to put that on the in the bit in the bottom corner um, because that does is made up mostly by DVDs from other pickups. 
The other ones that we've got, we've got nearly a full set of Harry Potters. So we've got Prisoner of Azkaban, Chamber of Secrets, uh, Philosopher's Stone, Order of the Phoenix, uh, Half-Blood Prince. So it's just the two Deathly Hallows, which I think I've got quite a few copies of them now as well. So we'll be able to put another set of Harry Potters together. Uh, da -da -da. And I think I should be able to do a set of Final Destinations now. Uh, because I have also, uh, over this week or last week, was sorting out the DVDs from one of the Facebook lots that I got. And yeah, there was nearly a full set of Final Destinations in there. Just needed, I think it was Final Destination 3 we were missing in that. So, and that's obviously as well, that backs up why I've also started getting the Alien vs Predator. Because I needed them to complete a set of Aliens. So yeah, uh, £10 and a penny on all of the collection DVDs. But we then move on to the CDs. And I managed to pick up a whole load of the Now CDs. Uh, we've got Now 43, 46, 48, 56, 62, 41, 77. And that's what I call Pop. Um, paid 10p each for most of them. Most of them come out of the Melza. Now 41 and 77, we paid 50p for, uh, I think they come out of PDSA. So in total, we've spent £1.60 on the collection DVD, uh, the collection CDs. And what I am going to do is I am aiming to collect a run. So for example, it will be from now 40 to now 49. That will be then become one lot. Looking online, they sell for about £17. So if I can get them at the same sort of prices that I'm paying here, it'll be quite good. Then we've got a few more DVDs. Um, some of these were picked up from the from the Melza. Some weren't. The Sorry, I don't know why the camera is moving about. It's moving about on its own. <laughs> uh, so the first one that we're going to look at is the Blade Trilogy. Uh, we've got the three films at the bottom there. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick them up. Um, I've got the full set there. I only paid 30p for them. And was hoping for a bit of a better price than what we got. Uh, they sell for about £5.50. So that would only net us a pound profit. So I won't be picking up any more of the Blade DVDs. Then next up, another Demelza pickup. And this was Billy Blank's PT247, the Ultimate Tybo DVD. Paid 10p for this one again. Um, it sells online for about £8. So that would be a £3.38p profit. And then... Just there, we've also got the thick of it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, sorry, we've got the thick of it. Uh, that is brand new and sealed. We picked that up at the RSPCA. Uh, paid 50p for it. And looking online, it sells for about £10, which would be a £4.72p profit. And the final DVD in that pile is the School of Rock, Orange County, and Without a Paddle DVD box set. This one's also brand new and sealed. We paid 33p for this out of Peggy Wood. And looking online, it will sell for about £8, which will be a £4.52p profit. Then we move on to a pair of football boots. And I saw these just as I walked in the door of the second part of the RSPCA. And immediately went straight over and grabbed them. And when I looked at them, they were in absolutely epic condition. Let me just grab one of them and show you what it's like on the bottom. There we go. I'll get there eventually with it. So they are in absolutely pristine condition. I'm not going to have to do anything with them. There's no cleaning, no nothing involved. 
um, and I'm just going to be able to list them straight away. Uh, when I went in there, they didn't have a price on them, so I went up to the till, asked the guy that was there, and he was like, oh yeah, they're, they're three pound. I was like, yeah, definitely. Didn't even need to look them up. I've had ones similar to these before, and they sold really quickly. Uh, looking online, these ones sell for about £40. So that would be a £26 and 72p profit. Then we move on to our first piece of clothing for today. And uh, let me just move, the, move it over so you can see the logo. So it is a Foster's Ice jacket. Um, I saw it in the in Demelza, and one, going back to the Demelza pricing, what they have, the way that they do it now, or the way that they seem to be doing it now, is that everything is done on type. So all jackets were three pounds, all clothes were a pound, all media was ten p, and and it's all done like that now. And I think that's an absolutely amazing way to do it. Um, with the way that they've got it all priced up, I am now super keen to go back there. Um, and yeah, I can. The last two times I've been, I have filled a bag when I've been in there, predominantly with media, but I have been able to get other pickups as well. So with the Foster's Ice jacket, we paid three pounds for it. Now looking online, I can't see anything else like this. Um, it is genuine. It's got the Foster's la labels inside, um, and it, it is 100% genuine. The only problem with it is, is there is a bit of mould around the collar, obviously where it's been chucked in a, a loft or a garage or something like that. So I am going to have to chuck it in the washing machine before I'm able to sell it. But yeah, as I say, I can't find anything like this online. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to chuck it up for £30, put offers on, um, and see what happens with that. There are, so the jackets that I did find for Fosters are all centered around the F1 and they were like 140, 150 pounds. Now this isn't anything to do with the F1. This more looks like a promoter's jacket. So this would be a jacket that someone wore, that was in the street promoting the beer would wear. Um, that's that's what it looks like to me and yeah it's something unique and we'll see how we get on with that if we do manage to sell it for 30 pounds that will be an 18 pounds and 66p profit which will be really good and then we move on to this was a sue rider pickup and it is a pair of women's armani jeans uh, size 32 we paid £8 for these, so we paid up quite a bit, um, but these were the first pair of Armani jeans that I've ever seen when being out at the charity shops. So I looked them up, looked that they were selling for around £30 to £40, so I've been a bit um, not optimistic, uh, I'm trying to find the right word, whatever. Um, but I've edged on the uh, gone to the lower end, so I've put thirty pounds on here. Um, if we do sell for that, that would be a thirteen pounds and seventy p profit. So not too bad. Then we went into Peggy Woods and we got an absolute stack of jeans. And the first two pairs that I saw were the two pairs of men's super dry biker fit jeans. Uh, they're both in a 34, 30, uh, 34 waist, 32 leg, and we paid £4 each for them, so £8 in total. Looking online, they sell, f uh, sell for about £30 each, so that would be £60 in total, and that would net us a £17 and 70p profit each. Um, I'm not going to work that out on the top of my head, uh, we'll just add that to the total down the bottom. But, so there was another four pairs of jeans that we picked up. We picked up six pairs in total. And we picked, so we picked up a two super dry, three pairs of men's Hugo Boss, and a pair of men's Armani jeans. And oh my God, did I mess this up. 
massively. So the the Hugo Boss and the Armani jeans had a total sale price of about £160. But what I didn't look at when we were in the shop is all four pairs of these jeans have got big holes in the crutches. They're completely unsellable and yeah, a complete waste. I got very, and I know exactly what happened. I got completely blindsided. I saw the super dry jeans, knew that they were, knew what they sell for, but brilliant. Then saw the Hugo Boss, then saw more and more. And I just like, there's design jeans, I've got to buy them, must buy them, let's get out. And yeah, I, I didn't check them over properly. And yeah, I am absolutely gutted, I really am. But yeah, it's it's a learning curve. I now know that I need to make sure that I'm checking all of the jeans. I can pick them all up off the rack and go through and check them all, but I need to be checking. And yeah, just absolutely gutted. So um, we paid. There's two pairs of Hugo Boss orange jeans. We paid three pound each for them. There's the pair of standard Hugo Boss jeans. We paid four pound for them, and then the men's Armani jeans we paid three pounds fifty for. So it was a total of thirteen pounds and fifty p that we spent on these jeans. And yeah, it's all they're all absolutely worthless. But it is what it is. This is what I say when in times when I have made mistakes, or if I've. Like when I say to people about looking it up, it's all about learning. Like I've now made that mistake. To be quite honest, it's only cost me thirteen pounds. It could have been a lot worse. I could have paid fifteen pound a pair or ten pound a pair. If you think if we if that had happened with the um if they'd all been priced up at the same price as the women's Armani jeans, so it was eight pound each. All right, that would have been what uh, forty. That would have been thirty-four pounds. I would have lost. So I got lucky from that respect that this lessons only cost me thirteen pounds. And yeah, it, it happens. Um, I watch sort of all of the other YouTube channels, and I have watched them all make mistakes, and they've been doing it a lot longer than me. So I know for a fact this isn't going to be my last mistake. And it probably isn't going to be my most costly mistake. Um, so, yes. And that is everything that we've picked up today. So, as I say, we have got some really, really good pulls today. Um, we are set up for some good profit as well. So, with that, we, we've got it for everything. So, let's go through the totals before we wrap the video up. And total spend today was £48 and 34p. Total expected sale price of everything, apart from obviously the four pairs of jeans there, is going to be £191 and 50p. And that would net us a total profit of £108 and 10p. But that £108 also doesn't include the season three of Little Britain, for example, and the other DVDs that we've got in there that will find that will allow us to put together a full set. So yeah, really, really good today. Some really good profit on the cards. And now I'm going to go off and get all these listed. So with that said, I'm going to wrap the video up there. But before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, just want to say thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.